Sometimes you just have to play such a bad games. Don't even dare to command this, to write me. He had this, he had that. Of course he had, he had like zillions of times so many wins, but I just managed to win this one. This guy's a GM. He's ready for some of the channel stuff. Woo, pets are opening. Let's go, mating free. Queen F7 is threatened. Mr. GM, yeah, okay, Queen F3. Nah, Queen F6, you always play like this, I already told you that. If he takes straight the Queen's off. By the way, this guy's streaming. Do you know this? So he's streaming. Let's kill this guy with my stuff. So he's streaming with this. By the way, who am I playing against? Christopher Rapka from Slovakia, okay. Okay, GM. Doesn't matter. I'm actually very happy to beat GMs with my Petzer opening. By the way, I remember I beat Eric Hansen like this. He played bishop c5 and thought that he did a good job because he just stopped my uh, d4 idea. But basically, wait a sec to see what's gonna happen. Bishop a6 looks annoying. In which case I have to play something, but I want to play King H1, D4, and F4. That's my job. And then, so this guy is streaming. So I like when I see this because they give me a full and, uh, you know, like a nice motivation. And let's go, F4. Uh, I should take. Go with d4. Play knight g3. I gotta play like this and threaten this bishop. And go back into the game with this, but I'm I'm done. Uh, I'm actually lost out of the opening. I'm uh, played that opening pretty poorly. Have to express my great disappointment because I don't like when somebody outplays me out of my pets are opening. Now let's go with activity and let's go with tricks. I don't care about material, I care about mate. You shouldn't forget the guy streaming, so we gotta beat him up so bad. Oops, did he blunder this? No, he just wants to take it there. But I gotta take it. And I gotta play g4. And you know what? I'm threatening rook takes d4 with lots of nasty tricks. Rook d4, c takes d4, rook, oops. Rook d4, knight d4, rook here, rook e8. Let's go with this, let's go with this. I'm threatening mate, he has to play rook e8. Then I take and I'm threatening rook g5. He has to play knight f3. And when he plays knight f3, I'll play like, okay, let me grab another one. And out of that position, I just came up with something here. Let's go. King gets closer to the center. You know the golden rule of the end games. Let's go here. Cut the king off. If he gives check, okay, no big deal. Let's go here. If he takes, I'll play bishop e3. Uh, ideally, you know, like misplacing the knight. Okay. Let's go with this move. a5 is about to fall. And I've just won the a5 pawn. Okay. I'm gonna get closer to his pawns as well. I'll just play king h4. Mr. GM, 
Get ready in your stream live to say resign, big butcher Maya. Let's go here. Let's just take it and play, put it here and go here. Oh, I blunder the pawn. Okay, I'm just gonna take it like this. And now my pawns are faster. Run behind the pawn. You know what the gold rule? Let me just go here. He's gonna give me check. I'll promote the queen at, at the same time. And uh, once again, I'm gonna win on time. So first check, of course, push the pawn, push the pawn, take it and get into a completely winning end game. Sorry, Mr. GM. Uzbek Tiger, this is Grandmaster. Let's go with Patzer's opening against this guy. I like to play against GMs like this. My favorite Patzer opening. And usually GMs feel very bad when you play and when you treat them with the Patzer's opening. Like, am I really going to lose against the Patzer's opening? Here I want to go if they go h6, g4, followed by g5. So they gotta go, yeah, they, they all go with this, thinking that they could, they will, t he's gonna take on d5, play c6 and d5, that's what everybody does, and now give me check, yes, everybody does this, and for some reason they believe, they just put my king, they all believe that when I play Patzer's opening, they should immediately uh, win the game, because it has to be bad, no, it's not, don't worry. I gave you the analysis on the channel, you know what to do. Threatens mate, very, very tricky mate. So I'm just going to place my bishop on f4, preventing that mate, and go with h3 and g4, believe it or not. Also, he can take, I mean, he can take, but I don't want to take on d5, that's the point. That's a very important moment of the game. Uh, because our, in that case they would be able to uh, swap off the bishops and weaken my uh, c2 pawn. I don't want to allow them this. I'm just gonna go with king g2 and play normal stuff. So just like you see these GMs think they did something is especially strong and good if they gave that check on e8. No, that's not a case, don't worry. King g2. And by the way, I'm not even interested in getting the pawn. Now this bishop is monster. His bishop is bad. Okay, I can't play there. Not a big deal. He can't move it anywhere. I play a4, so he cannot push b5. I'm even going to push a5 here. I'm even gonna push a5 in this position. He wants to swap off this bishop. I, well, I can take it, but I can also play bishop d2, in which case he would probably play f4. Let me go with a6. I'm just continuing to uh, play on the dark squares. Here I go with this. Uh, I'm positionally winning here, if you ask me. This bishop is terrible. This bishop is way better uh, because it threatens the pawn on uh, d5 so positionally killed this gm with the patzer's opening yeah yeah that's why i told you if you know your stuff and if you know the system nothing should be a problem to go for it uh let me just go with rookie five so if he's willing to play queen d6, I'll take. He has to take by king and then I take on d4. Yes, I'm gonna take by king. He has to take by king, right? Oh, Mr. GM, what the hell? Yeah, Patzer opening. Queen h5, bishop c4, queen f3. We wanna make the guy 92, stopping the 94. Knight c3 there. Play d3 to play bishop g5. Lately, people like to do h6 to stop bishop g5, and then I kill them with the move. 
Okay, on this one, you always jump knight e5 and win the bishop here. You now have like a nice control of the position because of the bishop here. Here I have to take. And I'm pretty happy to play this type of an endgame. I'll go with c3. b3. Like cementing position of my okay pieces. Here he's not threatening practically anything. Let me put my rook on the file. Can I push b4? I like pushing b4 here and repositioning my pieces. All of a sudden, I have knight c3, I have rook c1 first. Bishop g5 doesn't work because of f4. So I'll go with rook c4 here. Rook c4 defends the pawn. Okay, a3 is potentially strong pawn in his position. I agree. I'll go rook c1 still. I understand his intentions here. Let me just go with rook c3. If he takes there, I'll take... Okay, let me just, for a moment, defend this pawn. I'm threatening b5, which would absolutely lock all his pieces. And now knight comes on c3. Nice. What if I take... He's going to play bishop b6, I guess. Okay. And then I'll go with f4. Okay, no problem at all. What is he trying to do there? I can play b6. It should be winning. Knight on a3 should be fine as well. Knight d5 was pretty good. In case of check, I'll go here and I miss this move. Wow, I'm missing too much. I am missing too much. I'm not supposed to make such a bad blunders. I was easily... I don't want to say winning, but I was positionally winning. I was much better. No, now rook d6 was better, so I can make pressure on the f4. And, yeah, oh my goodness. I want to make him. Want to give him check here. Oh, my pawn is too far at one, so he has to move this bishop to threaten something. Check. Check. Let me just go with this check. Just a moment. Check. Check. And I won this game. That was a patser game, but it was really a game of two patsers here, I would say. The GM from Netherlands, let's go with the patsers opening. I believe GMs are ready to be beaten in this way. They like to play queen g6. We always go with knight b5, and now the pawn has fallen. Thank you so much, babe. You better learn your stuff. Well, maybe you're a GM, but you still have to learn some theory here, definitely. F3 in order to stop knight g4. Keep this bishop away with a d4. Let's go with the bishop d5. I'm dreaming about d4. And it finally happens. This GM is going to be badly bitten. I want to uh, remaneuver my knight c1 to d3. Let's see how does it work. He plays knight f4. Should I take and give up? Oh, let's go knight to d3. I'm attacking d5, presenting everything. Uh, kick the knight away. Take on e5. Play bishop f4. 
Let's go, babe. Take on e5. G5 kicking the knight away. Oh, I didn't see this one, unfortunately. Let's go. We want to go with the knight e4. Uh, you know what I said like a couple of times. Time warning. Knight is way more valuable in blitz than Quinn because he can jump like crazy. Let's go here. We got our rush up a little bit. This guy is fast. But not enough for Big Maya. Not enough. Ooh, I love Check. it. Take. Check. 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 First check. It's older. Coming here. Black forfeits on time. Big Maya. Big Master from Germany never played against this guy. And the Pats are opening for Fide Master. I want to mate him. Improving the position of the knight, completing my development, go with h3 to play g4, doing g4 so I can play g5, doing g5 so I can pin the knight. He has to take it. And as soon as you take on g5 by bishop, they will have terrible problems with bishop on g5 standing there from my experience don't get me wrong but when I play against uh, these guys FM's I usually kill them with the pets are opening very easily Um, I haven't played Blitz for a while and very interesting thing for some reason I feel kind of refreshed I see lots of things uh, uh, tactics uh, somehow I enjoy these games I don't care now you know even, even if I play according to theory or not but for some reason I feel pretty good let me just kick this knight away let me just kick this knight away but I also have the bishop g5 here, threatening the queen. Right, and if queen d7... I see, uh, all the time I look for some crazy tactics. That's very interesting. That, ha that hasn't happened to me in a while. Okay, so bishop d2 to threaten this knight. So when they take, I recapture. Now I see weakness here. I gotta bring my knight back there. Actually, wait a sec. Rook g6, king g6, nothing. So let's go back. Putting some knight f5. Nice. I see also some rook g6. Playing long castle, going after the pawn on d6 as well. No, I really. Even. No matter what I do this game, I don't care. I really enjoy uh, right now my chess at the moment because. Just like you see, I haven't played Blitz in a while and it's uh, on a pretty high level. Even with this very suspicious opening, because I don't play objectively the best lines. You know, when you play against GMs, IMs, even FMs, you all the time have to play serious stuff. But just like I told you, against FMs, I have an amazing score with the pets are opening and uh, poor guy. I'll just have to dismantle him. He takes. <gasps> Ooh. Let's go with this check. It almost worked. It almost worked for this guy. It almost worked. And I'll be honest with you, I, I missed it. It almost worked. Uh, but these mighty powerful pawns. Let's go with bishop c3. I can see lots of difficulties for him. Now I even see that the e6 is hanging. Uh, what about knight f5, baby? Knight f5, sweetheart. Take the rook. Threatening queen f7, baby. 
No, no, I'm... Oh, Queen G8, look at this. Oh, I love it. I love it here. So now, if I want to have fun with this guy, I'm going to play G7. And uh, when he takes on E2, I'll include Bishop D2 check, which is going to hurt him so much. And then I'll promote the lady. Let's go. G7. First include check baby to stop checkmate here. Poor guy. I really like him. Let's promote another baby. He threatens mate in one, but I am the first one who comes up with this. And I would promote the queen on h8. I wish he didn't lose on time, but mate was coming. Draw the knight twitch.
f6 he's gonna take the queen i'll take the queen yeah okay i love it mr gm uh mr gm i take by pawn mr gm passer is opening you got killed you have to admit that check first then you torture his king a little bit okay let me just take it here i'm threatening rookie seven look at this rookie seven 97 25 oof, 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 oof. i love this one a lot sometimes i enjoy too much my paths are opening okay i'm threatening now 95 96 check practically he only has yeah okay let me just kick that knight away he has to take i'll recapture by pawn and threaten g4 so everything is based on removing the knight as defensive piece it's pretty nice one now i'm even threatening 25 check followed by rook h1 mate Ooh, i love it rook e8 no mr gm what are you doing i'm expecting of this guy to be polite and to resign oh nice <laughs>